Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again in Ark Survival Evolved. That's right, we're back. And today, we are going to be uh, getting some metal. Um, we found this really cool blueprint the other day. And so, I want to try and go ahead and make this gun. It's, uh, is that the Apprentice? Is that the highest one we have? Yeah, it is. It's 123 damage, 129 durability. It's a pretty decent blueprint for what it is. Now, we also got a journeyman simple uh, gun, but I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to get into the long rifle. Uh, but one of the things is it takes 373 metal. Now, that's a lot. It's a lot, a lot. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go up to the mountain and get some. But there's been a little bit of bad news. And before I tell you guys what that is, I want to say thank you so much for the support on all my ARC stuff. It's been absolutely fantastic. Um, cannot tell you guys enough how awesome it's been. You guys have been blowing it up with like two to 300 likes per video. Um, and the, the views on it are just as crazy. So if you guys do like this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, but we lost someone. We lost Hodir. Hodir uh, was the victim of a, the Titanic. Yep. That's, that's as funny as that sounds. Hodir was the victim of the Titanic. Uh, Mazion took Hodir and put him on the raft and was going to try and kind of prank me a little bit and say, Oh, how did Hodir get out on the raft all by himself? You know? Um, but Mazion didn't know that, uh, the, uh, the dinos actually glitch out. Uh, and fall through the world when they're on the raft. So, not his fault. No big deal. But he did leave us a new present in return. So, let's go ahead and check this out. It says, Drax, place name here, 152. Now, that's pretty good. I'm very sorry for the loss of hoe, dear. I know this won't help you gr help your grief, but it was the least I could do. And I think he said that all the way around. So, yeah, let's go ahead and crack this open. I'm I don't see any doors, so maybe we just uh maybe we just tear into it. I don't know. It's red like a big present. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. I never realized how big these birds were. Place name here. Now, I didn't really come up with a, a new name, but I'm thinking just right here off the bat, we did Ho Deer in the last oh, Nope, I didn't mean to hit that. We did Ho Deer in the last one. I think this one we'll just go with um uh, I can spell my moniker right. We're just gonna go with Thor on this guy. And uh let's actually break him out of here a little bit more and take him out for a flight. Um actually. Oh he's got a saddle and everything. That is awesome. Alright, let's uh let's get him out of here. Can I ride him? Oh, I can. Awesome. Oh, we kinda like glitched out of the building. That was weird. So, this guy is got to be higher level than what Hodir was. 152? That is not bad. And it's got a ton of levels already. Uh, I'm going to pump weight to a crazy amount because we are going to need to have a lot of weight to go up there. So, now that we got Thor, we lost Hodir, but now we have Thor. And uh, we're going to head up to the mountain and get uh, like 300-something metal. Let's see. Let's check one more time. I just want to make sure... Yep, 373 metals, so that means we will need 600, um, no, 746, I believe, 746 metal. Uh, that's a lot. That is definitely a lot. Now, we have a good chunk here, but, uh, but yeah, I'm going to go and get some, and if I even if I use what's here, I want to have something to replenish, so that's what we're going to do, guys, and uh, I'm going to meet you up there, show you the metal where we go. Actually, let's just go together. Why not go together and have a good old time? But yeah, um, the birds, the Urgentavises, I usually, at least my first one, oh dear, uh, I didn't bump anything, but uh, I bumped a little bit of health, a little bit of stam and all that. But this guy, I want to bump stam and weight for the most part. There's something on top of that mountain. Oh, it's just a tree. Oh, that's cool. All right. But yeah, we just, we fly over here to this mountain and uh, I think that's that little rendering. Oh, my FPS drops right now are all from uh, the world loading in and out of all those structures. We are moving the kibble farm, which is really cool. Uh, 
me and Slip worked on that yesterday, and you guys seen that, and a bunch of you guys are new today from those subs uh, coming over and hanging out with us. So, again, I appreciate that. Slip Gator is the best. But, yeah, if we get up here on this mountain, uh, we'll see some, some, like, lower end nodes. Like you can see here, they're pretty dark. Uh, and you got, like, one here that's kind of kind of high. But if I get up here on top of the mountain, we've got a couple that are like pure gold. And if you guys aren't aware, the pure gold ones give by far the most amount of metal. Now, I don't know why it's just metal. That kind of baffles me. Like, look at that one. That one is like pure gold. Uh, it's it kind of, I would think that they would want to do like different kinds of metal and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm not the developer of the game. I just play the game and have fun. But yeah, if we get tackle this here... Let's take a look. Oh, my inventory is already overwhelmed. That's crazy. Oh, I can barely move too. See, yeah, that's another thing. We used the mind wipe tonic a couple episodes ago with uh, Spumwack and Zuljin. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're good. And so I don't have as much weight because I didn't want to focus on weight as much. But maybe in the future, you know, I might I might respec again and do weight because I actually really liked it. And I thought I could get away with, you know, not having as much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bunch of metal here and I'm going to start crafting. Or not start crafting, but start gathering all the metal that I'm going to need and smelting it and whatnot. And I will bring you guys back when I'm ready to craft this new gun. All right, so I'm flying back here. And one thing I have to say is this guy might not have had a bunch of weight on him. Uh, but he has got a heck of amount of stamina, and it is absolutely crazy. I probably sat in the air just flying around uh, for for a while, and he just kept on going and going and going and going. So if we take a look, his stamina is actually 2,300, his health's 1,500. I'd like that to be about 3,000, but melee damage, that's it's pretty good too. So if I move, if I move... I want a half a stack. There we go. Can I still walk? I can. Perfect. So now if I come over here to the refining forge, I should be able to drop that in. Drop half a stack of that in. And we're good. Drop the other half of that in. Now I know this is not going to be enough. Actually, guys, we might have to go gamma four. So that way we can see each other because it is awfully dark. But yeah, we come over here. Gonna dump some more metal in. Like a so. Like a so. Like a so. But yeah, let's uh, let's keep checking here. Split that again. And then this, I mean, I would think that this is gonna be more, I mean, it's not more than enough to cover uh, what we had, but I had just gathered a whole bunch of the other day too. So I'll make another trip off camera, but I think we're gonna go ahead and use what's here to make this awesome little gun. Let's see, where is it? There it is, the Apprentice Long Rifle. Very nice. Let's go ahead and drop that puppy in here. Now, oh, we're 50 metal ingots short. That is a bummer, and a little bit of wood short too. So that's, I mean, relatively easy fixes. We'll get the, uh, the metal, like, really quick. Let's see, do you got any wood on you? You sure don't. All right, so... I'm going to fly over, grab some wood, let the, the metal smelt up, and I'll bring you guys back. All right, so here we go. I know the UI is a little bright, but we're on, like, Gamma 4 right now. But if I go ahead and craft this, it's going to take a second. Now, there's a few attachments that we can actually put on. Uh, most, no most notably is the scope. So I think that's what we're probably going to go with. I'm going to see if there's any oh here's just a scope right there yeah perfect well i'll just steal that nobody will ever know and uh yeah there we go all right so we have the apprentice long rifle now i'm really excited about this we have our gun it was a little pink gun i'm actually going to go ahead and put that back and repair it so that way if somebody wants it and then we'll put our thing there so now we have the sucker now uh, another thing is, I mean, it, it's pretty cool looking. Yeah, check it out. Boom. Oh, yeah. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. 
I, 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 no, just kidding. Um, yeah, so now I need to make some ammo, and that is a process that can also be a little bit time consuming just because of the amount of stuff. Uh, but we'll need to make some gunpowder, which I should be able to make. A bunch of narcotics in there, a bunch of spark powder. Now I had some gunpowder made, that's cementing paste. Yeah, somebody might have grabbed the gunpowder that I had made, but it's all right. It's all right. I think I'm actually going to make up some green dye here real quick, too, and uh, get that going as well. And I'll bring you guys back, and we'll color the gun, and then we'll head out and try and take out some dinos. All right, so we are back, and we are in the inventory of my bird, but I want to go ahead and paint this rifle real quick. I think it should be pretty cool. Oh, wow, it's actually really hard to move. Um, no. Oh, yeah, there we go. Come in a little bit. Let's see, can I move it upward? Oh, gosh, it is so super hard to move. All right, so if I do green on the barrel. Yeah, I think we'll do green on the barrel. And we'll select white. And I'll put white on the stocks. Like there, die, die, and then we'll do black on that part. Just like that, and we'll take a look. Let's see. Four. Oh, that is actually pretty darn cool looking, actually. Yeah, I like it, I like it. The green's a little dark, but hey, we can deal with that. We're actually going to go ahead and color the bird stuff, too. Uh, I want to have his his long straps to be green. And then we'll have his saddle be green as well. And then the inner part we're going to do white. Where's that at? Yep, dye that. And then black for the rings. And yeah, that's it. That's all we're going to do for that one as well. And then I actually, I wanted to try and put some white on my armor. Oh, I left all the dye on the bird. Let's go ahead and get this back. And then I should be able to put some white here. If I put this back this way. Yeah, I think actually if I do, if I do green there, then we'll select white and I'll do a white undercoat. I think that could actually work really well. Let's see. White undercoat. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what we look like. We're getting there. I need to do my, my hands and my feet again. But yeah, I think that'll be pretty good. Now, um, I want to head off and I'm going to grab some water here. Oh, it's actually very, very foggy outside. But I made about 40 bullets, 39 to be exact. And we're going to head off with uh, Thor. I keep wanting to call him Hodir. No hate on Mazion. You know, he didn't mean to do it. He didn't know that the glitches happened. But it still sucks that we lost our bird. Now let's see. I want to come down here just a little ways. It's so foggy. So very foggy. But let's jump off. And I see this T-Rex right here. Oh, wow, I, I can't hardly see his head, though. That was one shot on the Bronto. Let's see. Let's try for another headshot. Oh, I missed. <laughs> let's try for something not quite as big. You know, the hunting rifle's not really made for stuff that large. Let's see, Thor, what do you see? You see anything good? What are you actually on? Uh, attack my target. Yeah. Well, I can't really see nothing in the fog. So we're going to wait until that clears. Unfortunately, I didn't really think before I came back. Oh, here's a parasaur. Let's try and take out the parasaur. Oh, which way are you going, man? Oh, level 24. One shot, one kill. Oh, yeah. And let's give Thor some more meat. There we go. There we go. Is the skies clearing up at all? Doesn't look like it, really. I mean, kind of, a little bit. What was that? I just heard, like, a chicken. Is our bird making chicken noises? 
I mean, that would totally make sense. They're like giant prehistoric chickens. But yeah, we're going to fly around until the fog clears a little more and just test this out, maybe on a raptor, maybe on something a little bigger. All right, so our fog is cleared up quite a bit. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. Don't attack Thor. Don't attack Thor. Oh, yes, level 56. Now, I took two shots. Um, so maybe, you know, this gun isn't quite the strongest gun in the world. Let's see. That's a Spino. Who's like spinning around. I missed there. I totally missed. Man, I need to get better with my gun. Let's see. Do your little thing. Aha. Actually, if I, if I lay down, do I have better control? Now, shot number two. He looks hurt. Shot number three. How many is it going to take to take down a Spino? Oh, I think that one might have missed. Now, uh, let's try a Dilo. Oh, level 88, one shot. Wow, that was actually pretty good. There's a Packy. Oh, I didn't get him. Oh, but that, uh, that Spinal probably did. All right, Turtle. Nope, I just make him mad. I just made him mad, it looks like. Is that two shots? Oh, are you coming? Or no, you're probably just going for the... Yeah, you are. There's shot number three. I feel like I'm probably wasting a bunch of ammo. Well, let's grab Thor. Oh, that hurt, actually. Let's grab Thor and attack this Spino. Get him! Get him, Thor! Oh yeah, come on, Thor. That's up. That guy's only level 12, man. You got this. Oh, actually, um, you're hurting bad. You're hurting bad. Fly away. <laughs> he is not as strong as Hodir was, for sure. Um, that was scary. That was bad. That was like really bad. We almost lost two Argentavises today. I'm going to heal this guy up and find something to do. All right, guys, before we wrap up the episode here, I told you guys that I would read a couple of comments out and uh, talk to you guys, answer some questions and whatnot. So the first question that we have here is from the videos I've watched and the things that have been said on them, it seems you're pretty knowledgeable with PCs and networking and such. Did you get a degree or are you mostly self-taught? Uh, well, honestly, I am completely self-taught. Um, I've learned a little bit from friends and stuff like that, but I've never gone to school for it. Uh, I've kind of always wanted to go to school for it, but never, you know, money's always a f financial things are always a, an issue with that and whatnot. And I wasn't really a big school person anyway, but uh, yeah, everything that I have done has either been self-taught from other friends of mine or from just reading online or tinkering or just, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. And that was come, came from F, uh, FLN Real. I think there was a Y or W Y S on the end of it. I don't know why that didn't copy over. Uh, and the next question comes from, so, okay. It's, or it comes from jazz hands. Uh, it says, so, okay. My question is, have you or any of the others thought about playing on a public server for a bit? So maybe fans can run out and meet you. Uh, I know Zuljin and Slipgator and myself on separate occasions. I don't think we all did it at the same time, but we've played on uh, public uh, servers like PVP servers and whatnot. And, uh, I know slip walked around to one and just found some really cool stuff. And Zuljin got like kidnapped on one and was told to follow him. And they, he got to see a really cool base. I have played on a couple, but uh, I haven't really ran in anything too crazy, but I might, you know, start doing stuff like that. Maybe tweet out like, Hey, I'm going to go on this server for an hour. You know, guys come on and meet me or if maybe if you guys play on a particular server and you want me to come and hang out for a little bit let me know and uh, you can either leave a comment down below or you can uh, hit me up on twitter as well and i'd be happy to come and check out what you guys are doing on or what's going on uh but yeah guys that's gonna be it for today i hope you enjoyed this little episode 
It wasn't completely action-packed, even though that we had a whole bunch of guns and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, if you guys liked the video, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow for another Daily Arc video. All right, guys. Have a good one. Hey.